My name is Gabe. And my name's Andrea. We are so glad you joined us. We have an exciting show just for you. That's right. And we have some keywords, so let's look at those right now. Our first one is presentation. Presentation. Martha is working on a presentation for her boss. Our next keyword is present. Present. Susie will present a speech in English tomorrow. Cultural. Cultural. Going to a museum is a cultural experience. Well done. Now, let's say these keywords together one more time. Our first one is presentation. Presentation. Present. Present. Cultural. Cultural. Good. Now listen for these keywords in today's lesson. And now it's time for us to find out what today's mission is. Eddie? Yes. Well, today I would love to present to you today's mission. Wow. Eddie, huh? you're going to give us a presentation? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's a short presentation. Here it is. Today's <laughs> mission. Where is the winter carnival? Where is the Winter Carnival? Where is the Winter Carnival? Well, everybody, listen closely and maybe you'll find out where the answer to today's mission is in today's lesson. Let's go there now. Hi, Sarah. How was school? Great. We're doing presentations on world festivals. My presentation is next week. Which festival will you talk about? The Winter Carnival in Quebec. I can make snow cones for everyone. Great idea. I can help you. Or you could present Australia Day and talk about the cockroach races. I can help you. I found some cockroaches. Ben found some cockroaches. I think this is great. Andrea, do you like cockroaches? Uh, no, Gabe. I do not like cockroaches, and I don't think this is great. Oh, really? Um, well, do you like school? Yes, I like school. Well, good, because Sarah is in school, and she has a presentation that she needs to do. Let's look at this keyword, presentation. Presentation. When you speak to a group of people about something that you studied, that's called a presentation. You might give a presentation in your class. Your teacher will tell you different things that you have to learn about. Then you share what you learned with other people in a presentation. So sometimes in high school or in college or even at your job, you might have to do presentations. We can also say you give presentations. And when you give presentations, you present something. Let's look at this next key word, present. Present. When you are giving a presentation, you are presenting something. So present is the verb. When you're presenting about something, you are sharing the information that you learned to present. That's right. And in this conversation, we also learned something else. Sarah is presenting about what, Andrea? Well, I think she's presenting about the answer to today's mission. The answer to today's mission, which is, where is the Winter Carnival? Where is the Winter Carnival? The Winter Carnival is in Quebec. That is the answer. Ben, you brought cockroaches into our house? Sarah, they're safe in the box. Don't worry. When is this Winter Carnival in Quebec? In February. It's the biggest Winter Carnival in the world. There are many cultural events. And they have a night parade. We should go. No, thanks. 
I'll stay with my new friends. So Ben does not want to go to the winter carnival. He says he'll stay with his new friends. Now, Gabe, who are his new friends? His new friends are the cockroaches. Ben brought them into the house. I know. I don't think this is a very good idea, but friends, I do think it's a good idea for us to learn our key word. Say it with me. It is cultural. Cultural. Now first, let's look at the beginning of this word, culture. Now your culture talks about the way you live the language that you speak, and the place that you live. That's right. In a culture, there are many people, and they all share these things. How you live, how you speak, these kinds of things are called cultural. And I'm interested in cultural things. Are you? Well, when you're interested in cultural things, you like to learn about different cultures. Our conversation says that there are many cultural events at the Winter Carnival. So you can learn about the culture of Quebec when you go there. That's right. And that word event means something that happens, especially something that many people go to watch. This is an event. And events are usually very important and interesting. Song time. What would you, what would you do? There comes a time you gotta make up your mind. There's always a decision Game? to be made. Game? The choices, dreams, dreams, hey. Gabe, you look very silly. What are you doing? It's okay, I'm listening to a new song. Okay, okay. Sounds good. Well, tell me about the song. Okay, this song is called What Would You Do? It's about choices. Listen to this. There comes a time you have to make up your mind. There's always whoa, a... Whoa, 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 Gabe. Hey, that's something great that we can teach. Really? Yeah. That's a great idea. The part about making up your mind. Ah, make up your mind. That's a good phrase to know. When you make up your mind, that means you make a choice about something. If you're not sure what to do, if there are two things that you could do, you need to make the choice and choose one of them. You need to make up your mind. So when you make up your mind, you have a choice between two things. Okay, I have two pieces of fruit here, Gabe. Oh, that's great, I have an Andrea. apple and an orange. Well, that's yeah. awesome. Uh, Gabe, yes? what are you doing? Oh, well, I'm just playing with your fruit. Okay, okay. No, what I need you to do is I need you to make up your mind. You can only choose one. Oh, only choose one? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Driz, I hate decisions. Can you help me make up my mind? Okay, I'll help you. Mm. <sighs> she started mm. to eat the apple. Mm. Well, I've made up my mind. Give me the orange. Please? Please give me the orange. Okay, there you go. Thank you, Driz. All right, now I want to share more of this song with you. There's more to share? Well, hey, what is it? Well, listen closely. The choice is yours. You'd better think it through. It's up to you. What would you do? Hi, Sarah. How was school? Great. We're doing presentations on world festivals. My presentation is next week. Which festival will you talk about? The Winter Carnival in Quebec. I can make snow cones for everyone. Great idea. I can help you. Or you could present Australia Day and talk about the cockroach races. I can help you. I found some cockroaches. Ben, you brought cockroaches.
crashes into our house? Sarah, they're safe in the box. Don't worry. When is this winter carnival in Quebec? In February. It's the biggest winter carnival in the world. There are many cultural events. And they have a night parade. We should go. No thanks. I'll stay with my new friends. Calendar phrase. That's great, Andrea. Thank you for telling me all about your childhood. You know, I'd love to learn more about that. Really, Gabe? Yeah. Really? I think it would be great. But right now, we need to go to our calendar phrase. Today's calendar phrase is, I'd love to learn more about that. I'd love to learn more about that. And you can use this phrase if you want to know more about something. I'd love to learn more about that. You know, Gabe, I would love to learn more about our calendar phrase. Well, you're in for a great treat because right now we have a calendar phrase coming right up. I'd love to learn more about that. I'd love to learn more about that. Do you know how to cook Chinese food? No, but I'd love to learn more about that. Me too. I'd love to learn more about that too. Who can we ask to teach us? My mom's a good cook. Maybe we can learn how to cook from her. Great! I'd love to learn more about that. I'd love to learn more about that. I'd love to learn more about that. Hello, everybody. It's now time for the question of the day. Eddie, do you have a question for us? Uh, I always have a question for the day. Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, uh, okay, I know what it is. What festival would you like to present about? What festival would you like to present about? Hmm, that is a hard question to answer. You know... I think I would also like to present about a winter festival. There are so many fun things that you can do in the winter, outside, on the snow. Well, that is a great answer. How would you answer, everybody? All right, we want to thank you for joining us. Learning English can be fun. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>